I must have the wall of yours. I want to do that. Yeah. Tell them to come fix back your house for real, man. Fisherman held in connection with siege of M16 rifle. A Chilean fisherman has been charged with breaches of the firearm act following the siege of a M16 rifle and several rounds of ammunition during an operation in Scarlet Hall district in the parish on Thursday, July 1st. Charged is 39-year-old Corey Brown of Scarlet Hall in the parish. He was charged with illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. Report charged at about 5.30 am, officers searched a premises occupied by Brown, one unassembled M16 rifle and two magazines containing 31 5.56 cartridge were found under a bed. Additionally, two bottles, one containing 10.40 rounds of ammunition and the other containing 12.44 rounds of ammunition were found at the back of the premises. Brown court date is being finalized by the police. Man arrested after robbery at Agri Park hardware store during every rains. The St. Andrew South Police have recovered stolen lumber in Delacree Lane, Kingston level following a break-in at a hardware store on Agri Park Road in St. Andrew. The Jamaica Constable Force said the facility was broken in during the every rains associated with Tropical Storm Elsa. Acting on information about the theft, the police say they responded swiftly in recovering the stolen items. One man has been arrested in connection with the theft. Brother get dashed with a bike. Teenage sibling suspected. The Nova police have reported that a search is being carried out for an over teen who allegedly chubbed his older brother during a dispute over a motorcycle at their home in Upper Rock Spring last Thursday. The deceased has been identified as 29-year-old Jeremy Nicholas Spence, otherwise called Co, a laborer. Reports by the police said that shortly after 8.30 a.m., the brothers got involved in an argument at their home, allegedly because Spence wanted to borrow his brother's motorcycle. He refused and a physical confrontation ensued, resulting in Spence being tapped in the upper body. The teenager ran from the scene. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Spence was discovered lying with multiple taboons. He was rushed to the Savlanamar Hospital in Westmoreland where he was pronounced. The police have also reported that Spence is the 22nd person to get dashway in Anuva since the start of the year. Portland man get dashway at bar. The Portland police have not yet established a motive for the incident where a man got dashed away in the quiet district of Windsor in the Rio Grande Valley on Saturday evening, police sources said that 67 year old Lorraine Ming, a farmer cricketer, was attacked inside a bar shortly after 7.30 pm during every associated with Tropical Storm Elsa. According to the police, Ming was playing a poker box when a man entered the premises and opened fire. He was found suffering from what appeared to be car wounds to his upper body. The gruesome incident has shocked residents who describe him as an honest, sincere and friendly person. Ten persons have got dashed away in the Portland Police Division since the start of the year. People, it come like senative what tropical storm can save Jamaica. Because when storm are gone, people still are carrying out robbery. The bad boy them still a dash where people condolence goes out to that Portland man family over there in a Windsor. You see me? 67 year old man, the man them dash where people. Me never did a look for something like this take place yesterday. To the amount of rain we see fall and to the amount of place we see flood out. Me never did a expect that nobody would a get dash where in a them time there. I never expect a man who dog up on them robbery operation same way in a them time the people. Rain a fall, place flood out, people can hardly leave them yard. And the man them still risk it for a biscuit. And I go rob people. And that's what people said we. 
comme la ex nous nous tal qui ainsi a vu une jamie kaya like everybody have to try get a life of fire um I wanna don't know how hard that is right now I mean what I feel not hard but not incident to people I uh, also hear few no opinion on the incident to take place where in, where in which it is alleged said that a teenager sibling that's where I'm older brother just because him borrow him brother bike and him brother refuse for lending it the man that's him over him own thing look at teenager youth like that the man them a family and the man dash with him brother over him brother one thing tell me if that makes sense just because the man refused to lend him maybe him brother will save him from drop out car he probably will go up on the road with that bike and a car he will lick him off you don't know people live in a sad country we live in a sad world right now as me I said, we don't see nothing possible we can see every. We don't see it implemented as it. People eat well just because me I tell them to do. Welcome to the new world where you have your own family that you have your own things. Just because you refuse to lend them it. Just because you refuse to share with them. Own family. Sad world as I say people we live in a right now, no joke about it. I'm not afraid of that still, leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the bell. Share the video. So a friend can tell a next friend. So the friend they can tell a next friend. See a tap bangs at the man, do the right thing. Until the next time. You know it thing, go I'm out. Yeah.